Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Mike Benitez. Today we're going to be talking about one, uh, about another ship involved in the Pearl Harbor attack. And this ship was named the cruiser, the USS New Orleans. Let's begin the story. New Orleans was the lead ship of seven, cru of seven cruisers for the New Orleans class, and were kind of very, uh, and were kind of very powerful cruisers. Construction began on New Orleans in 19 in 1929, and by 1934, she was completed, the new ship for a new class of heavy cruisers. From 1934 to 1941, New Orleans was part, uh, competed in several uh, operations and exercises, but it was during Pearl Harbor that World War II for her life would begin. On December 7th, 1941, New Orleans was docked at Pearl Harbor during the attack. She was not near the battleships. Uh, she was at dry dock because her engines were needed repairing and other stuff needed to be overhauled. But there, uh, it was when the Japanese planes attacked. The, her crew started to attack the planes with rifles, guns, anything they could find to shoot at them. And they had to, and they were forced to break down the locks of the magazine areas because the, uh, because the magazine, um, because, um, the keys could not be found. Also, a fragmented bomb exploded nearby the, uh, o New Orleans, but only, uh, but it only did minor damage. This was the only damage taken to New Orleans and I, during the attack. And New Orleans was one of the ships that had suffered little, uh, little uh, ha that had suffered not even severe damage during the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. During the Battle of the Coral Sea in, Ju in June of 1942, New Orleans was one of the ships that rescued 800 some men aboard the USS Lexington when their aircraft carrier got attacked by Japanese bombers. The New Orleans was then sent back to Solomon's after the rescue operation. But during the Battle of Midway, only two days later, the, um, the, um, New Orleans was one of the ships that had rescued some men aboard the USS New uh, Yorktown when their, when their ship got attacked by, ja uh, by Japanese planes. She, New, or New Orleans was uh, able to rescue some men before the ship went down. The Yorktown, I mean. New Orleans suffered major damage during the attack, uh, during the Battle of Tussafaranga in 1942. Here we see her after the attack. This first, pi this first uh, picture we'll see here is of torpedo damage. In fact, her damage was so significant that everything, what, that everything ahead of turret 2, right, right here, was totally gone, destroyed, complebo, gone. And here we see the, uh, New Orleans is the, uh, is, uh, uh, in, uh, December. Here we can actually see the damage. Her length is, is very short due to her damage that had been taken in her bow section. And here we see, uh, New Orleans camouflaged, the undergoing field repairs suffered at the Battle of Tassifaranga. Now, once repairs were completed, New Orleans was traveled uh, uh, to rear area ports for further repairs. They, they would need some, judging by how damaged the ship had to, the New Orleans was. And here we see the temporary bow li uh, lifting to be, to be welded on the New, New Orleans in Cockatoo Island Dockyard. And here we see the false bow fitted on New Orleans. And here is New Orleans. What, uh, Enabled to re her return to the U.S. for repair damage. As you can see, she has her fake ba her temporary bow fitted, and soon she would uh, she would get a new bow. Soon after she had her new bow, she was ready and back in action. But still, I can't. You couldn't believe how much damage the ship took. Soon. The New Orleans had new guns and was ready to back in action to fi to fight the Japanese. In 1943, the new USS Lexington was torpedoed, and New Orleans guard her safely to her retirement in a dockyard. Here we see Salt Lake City, the Pensacola, and the New Orleans, which is right there, in 1943 in Pearl Harbor. 
this is what the uh, during 1943, except for the uh, incident with the USS Lexington, nothing really much happened importantly in the New Orleans life. 1944 would see a whole bunch of operations involving the New Orleans. New Orleans would be in several battles, like Iwo Jima, Sato, Sato, uh, Sato uh, and uh, many others more, including uh, bombardments in the Carolines, etc., etc. 1944 was a busy year for the USS New Orleans and her escorts that she had escorted numerous aircraft carriers during this time in 1944. However, there was an incident in 1944 where a plane from the new USS Le uh, Yorktown had struck the uh, uh, had struck the um, New Orleans in her masts, damaging it. But soon, this was only a minor damage, and New Orleans was ready to fight again. From then to the rest of the, to the end of the war in 1945, New Orleans would, uh, would uh, take in shore operations off Okinawa and, uh, and bombarding several Japanese shores until the end of World War II. During her service in World War II, New Orleans was nicknamed No Boat. A cruiser that once started as just a young cruiser had become into a fighting me vessel. However, after the service in World War II, there was there would be nothing left for the New Orleans to do. After returning troops from the war, New Orleans was sent to Philadelphia Naval Yard, and then she was uh, 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 there. She was decommissioned, and in 1959, she was scrapped in Baltimore, Maryland. The sad ending of the No Boat, the lead ship of the New Orleans class of heavy cruisers, seven of them. However, one destroyer and four destroyer escorts were named after the men that died on New Orleans during the Battle of of Ta, of Ta, uh, Tassafaranga. Remember that? Well, there were names. Uh, there were names of the men who died. Those were the USS Rogers, the USS Hater, the USS Foreman, the USS Sweating, and the USS Haynes. In fact, the flag that uh, that was flown from New Orleans when she was attacked by the torpedo, uh, torpedo during, the uh, during the attack on Tassafaranga is now this it now is, is now displayed in Annapolis, Maryland. Thank you for hearing the story of the USS N uh, New Orleans, nicknamed No Boat. In the next video, we'll be talking about her sister ship USS San Francisco that was also in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Thank you guys very much for enjoying this video. I am Michael Benitez. This is Michael Benitez signing out on the story of the USS New Orleans.